Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. Welcome to Mini Mandala Mondays. In these videos, I show you how to create a beautiful little mandala using a coin, a pen, a pencil, and a blending tool. So I'm using a Micron pen. This is a PN plastic nib. I have a graphite pencil for drawing and shading. And this is a paper blending tool called a tortillon. I am also using a coin. This is a penny. You can use any coin, any size you have. And my book is a five inch by five inch little sketchbook. Okay, we're gonna start by picking up our pen and finding a spot on our paper and tracing around the coin. All right, then I'm gonna pick up my pencil and we need to make a grid. So to make our grid, we're going to put a horizontal line across the middle and extend it out. I do not use rulers or compasses or protractors. Um, I like to just do it by freehand, but it's up to you what you want to do. I'm gonna put a vertical line this way you can already tell this line is a little bit too high, so I'm just going to pencil it in a little bit lower. And then I want to divide each of these corners in half. So I'm just doing very light pencil in case I want to adjust it later. There we go. I am going to grab a piece of scrap paper if I can find one. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to use this as a little bit of a ruler today. So I need a couple of markings. So let me put this all the way to that center point. All right. So I need a marking that's just a little bit, probably about a pencil width out from the center. And then I want another one to be about two pencil widths. And then I'm just going to mark each of these lines. So I put it in that little point and mark the lines. could also measure from the outside of the circle. It might be more accurate if your center is off a little bit like mine is, but it's okay. These are just for fun. The reason I don't use rulers and other fancy gadgets is because I want to be able to make these mandalas wherever I am with whatever I have on hand. I don't always have all those tools with me. Okay, now I've made those little markings, so I'm going to go ahead and connect them lightly with my pencil. Just getting that kind of a rough circle in and one out here. Step back and look at it. I can see this kind of bulges out a little bit here, so I'm going to bring that in a little. Okay, that's good enough. All right, I'm going to pick up my pen and I'm going to work on the center for a minute. So I'm going to put little teeny tiny petals in each of these triangular areas. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's very small. And then I'm going to take each one of those and I'm going to add three more on top of it. So I'm going to start from the point in the middle and go one, two, three. One, two, 
two, three, and I'm always going back to that center point just so that these really tuck into each other. I'm pushing very, very lightly on my pen. I don't need a lot of ink. All right, it looks so pretty. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and work on this little outer edge here. So I'm going to go in each of these little sections and I'm going to make a little bit of a curved line up to the center and up to the center. Now, some are going to be a little more narrow than others. Some are gonna be wider. It's okay, it's because we're not perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go up into this corner up here and I'm going to start right here in the top center and I'm going to come all the way up and make a curve and then I'm going to go to the center over here and come up and make a curve. So that and that. I'm going to do each of these quadrants, each of these corners. But I'm starting down by the where the penny was, where the coin was. All four of those tucked in there. Okay, now I'm going to add another one in between each of these. And so to do this one, I'm going to look at the space that I have and I'm going to go to about the center and the center over here. So I'm gonna start from that center and go up and up, up and up. Okay, I'm going to go back into these first little petals that we made. And I'm going to put a bump or like a half circle inside each one. And then I'm going to color that in. So sometimes with a mandala, I make each layer until it's finished. And sometimes I go ahead and just draw outward, adding more petals, more bumps, more lines and auras. And then I go back and fill in later. Of course, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's whatever you feel like doing in the moment.
And then because I've got a lot of space in there, I'm going to aura those bumps. All right, I'm going to go to these four large petals and I'm going to ink in that center line on each of those. But I'm going to do a leaf. So I'm going to start right down here where the where the coin was and I'm going to curve up Curve up, curve up. So I'm just following that line in the center and then jumping out to the edge. Then we're gonna add a fun little detail. So if you do Zentangle drawing, um, this is a, a fun little way to add some weight to your lines and add a little bit of um, a little more detail, a little more drama. Okay, so on each of these, I'm going to put this little, like, I don't even know what you call it, like a little curved line there and color that in. So I put a little curve on this side. I'm almost just rounding that corner and a curve on that side and I color it in. It's really tiny and detailed, but look at what that adds to that leaf shape. I'm gonna have one coming out down here as well, just because I've got the space. All right, go ahead to the other side. Essentially, you're just adding these little triangles that kind of round out that area. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one. So I'm starting down where that coin was and I curve up and I go up that line and curve again. Do as many or as few as you want. And look at the difference between that one and the one that we added, those little weighted areas at the end. Remember to hold onto your pen lightly. Do not need a tight grip. And on to the next one. Every week I tell myself I'm going to make a mandala that is not floral, but for some reason I'm drawn to making those petals and those little leaves in almost every mandala I do. Okay, I've got one more section.
I don't know if you have had this, but once we start drawing mandalas, once I started, I started noticing mandalas like wherever I go. So I was having dinner with my sister a couple nights ago and she had on just a t-shirt, but it had a beautiful mandala pattern and I just had to take a picture of it. And another friend of mine had a mandala on her phone case. And I was shopping and saw a mandala on a towel, like a beach towel. They're everywhere. If you have room to kind of round out the tips, you can do that as well. Okay, those are done. They look so pretty. And then I'm going to add a few details in there. So I'm going to do a couple of little flicks. And then I'm going to do some dots on a couple of them. Just because. And I'm going to go back to the center because I don't really like this white area around here. And I'm going to continue making those little loops until I get to the line. It's just looking unfinished to me. And then I'm going to ink in those little extra spaces that are left over. That's feeling better to me. Okay. All right, let's do the other little petals. So this is like my go-to. I do this all the time when I'm drawing with Zentangle or when I'm doing mandalas. It's just such a pretty and easy fill. So I'm going to do a little bump and color it in. I'm going to go ahead and do that on all of them. And then I'm going to aura that, which means I'm just going to put a line near it. Do all four of those. And then I'm going to do another aura, but I'm going to make it go out a little ways. So it kind of almost splits this in half. And then inside that wide area, I'm going to put lines pretty close together. So in that wide area.
Okay. And now I'm going to fill the rest of this area with petals. So I like to start in the middle and I'm just gonna put a big bump and then a bump on each side. And if I've got room for one more or a half of one, I'm gonna put that in there. Bump in the middle, each side. It's really highlighting to me how some of these are wide and some are narrow. And I am okay with that. And now I'm going to ink in those extra areas that are left over. Remembering to loosen your grip. Relax your shoulders. Okay, so now inside those little petals, you can do whatever you want. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a straight line up with a little dot. Some don't have room, it's okay. It's looking good. Right now I'm gonna put an aura around the whole thing. So I'm just going to very slowly with this little outline around it. It looks so good. Okay, so we could just leave it like this, but I am gonna add a little bit more. So I'm going to add an orb or a circle in each of these little areas. So I'm gonna put one there. I'm going around mine twice just to sort of make it more round I guess and it darkens it up a little bit trying to keep them all about the same size and if you've got an area underneath go ahead and ink that in going to put a reflection on each one. I 
And then I'm going to put a small orb on each side and ink those in if there's an area underneath them. So these are just a little bit smaller. It's just a fun way to fill in this little V shape. Kind of round out our mandala a little bit. And then, of course, I have to aura those because that's just what I like to do. You don't have to if you don't want to. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna initial mine, and then I'm going to erase some of the grid lines and then do a little bit of shading. So I can find my eraser. This is just a kneaded eraser, so it just feels like putty. pick up my pencil and I'm going to put a little bit of shading in the first teeny tiny loops and I'm going to push those up and out just a little tiny bit. And then these little petals kind of got lost in the mix but I'm going to go on the outside of these petals. So not the little aura here, but the outside of that triangular petal. Put some graphite all the way around them. And push that up and out. kind of highlights those a little bit better. And then on these leaves, I'm just going to put some right on that center line, kind of on both sides of the line, I guess, and push it out into those little petal shapes. So it looks like it's kind of curving down into there. Always pushing it away from where you made the graphite. Okay, now on these, I've got a couple of choices. I can highlight, or not highlight, I can put some shading on the inside of these lines, or I can put some shading up here where the petals are. So I think I'm gonna try that first. So I'm gonna put some right up here where the petals are. And push that up towards the petal. This part is left looking kind of flat, but I think I'm okay with that. I guess if you want, maybe put some at the bottom. I just don't think I want to put it at the top. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on this little bottom bump and then up here by the petals. That's what we'll do. See, I just make this up as I go. 
There we go. Then I'm going to put just a little bit in this V area where those little orbs are, just to give the slightest shadow. It's very subtle. But it adds just enough To make it interesting. Okay, and then lastly, just because I'm, I don't know, I'm wanting to do this, uh, in here I'm going to put a tiny bit on each side of those little loops because I want those to look like they're kind of popping up and then going down. So just a tiny bit on each side. It's such a small area to add any shading in. But look how cool that looks. Okay, I'm going to be done. All right, so that is it. That is our mandala for the week. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Um, it is Father's Day tomorrow, and um, so we're celebrating Father's Day. We have a couple of open houses for graduates, and then my husband and I are going tent camping for a week up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So lots of packing, lots of cooking, lots of fun. So it felt relaxing to sit here with you and just take a few minutes to draw and just kind of calm myself down. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week. You can share your work on my Facebook page called Let's Tangle. And um, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.